Hey guys, it's Dave for Gamers on Games again. We're doing this again because they have done it again. So uh, let's do the the quick version of this. Uh, you guys already know all the details. You know that Daniel Perez is, uh, as of current, in jail um, or being held. Apparently, he has not posted bond. Um, at least there is nothing to indicate that he has. So. As far as the news is concerned, he is still um, in custody. Um, that, however, did not stop the train. Because as best as we can surmise, now I'm saying as best as we can surmise, because we do not have definitive proof this time that it is the same uh, group, but we have enough to go on that we can suspect it was the same people. Um, and with him being in jail... Um, we have to assume one of two things. It is either Alessandra who posted this one under a fake name, or B, it's a friend or associate who has posted under a fake name. The third option, which is the one where they're not involved at all, is it's a troll mimicking their style, posting it as a gag. Um, so <laughs> what they posted this time is Dragon Eye, a combat card game uh, based on Game of Thrones. Yep. So Game of Thrones still makes it into the title. It's still in there, but as he describes it, or it is Joe Seaman, S E A M A N, um, who has posted this one. And the um, Kickstarter description is uh, Dragon Eye: The Card Game, a card ge a card combat app for iPhone and Android systems. This game is a two v two based very loosely on Game of Thrones. And then the Kickstarter image that they used is um, the two dragons uh, torching the north. Um, and by torching the north, I think it's actually a, the scene where the two dragons are um, torching um, the White Walkers. I believe that's actually, now that I'm looking at it more closely, is exactly the scene because I can see John and the rest of the group up on the rock in the center while the dead are coming at them. Or undead. Okay, so the location that was attached to this one is Derby, Connecticut. So we're still in Connecticut, which is again why I'm, why I'm inclined to believe. Um, the rest of it is all pretty inconsequential because it's still the same whole ton of no, no details, the details that they give are not correct. Good example. There are six classes that they're trying to sell you on. Count them with me now. Knight, Lich, Bard, Eunuch, Wolf, Death, Priestess. I'm up to seven. They said six. Did we already reach a stretch goal? So, we have that. Um, they give you an illustration of an eyeball. The eyeball does not bode well because it looks like, as one person described, it looks like it's out of a coloring book. Um, for me, it doesn't look like it's out of a coloring book, it just looks like it's garbage. Uh, but as per standard fashion, this is how the whole thing goes. Hand-drawn illustrations, supposedly examples, and how the game is supposed to play, only written descriptions. But the best part is, is that as soon as we are 50% funded, we will have a demo. What? For an app? Dude, you should have had something if this were real, which it isn't. Um, considering it's suspended, it's definitely never going to happen. Um, the funny thing is, is that the $10 basic pledge, which is the, the starting point of this whole thing, um, gives you, and I'm just going to read it because it's too hilarious not to read, uh, a night and fully unlocked deck for one. That's the title of it. You get a full deck unlocked for your game for only $10 under the death class. The death class is great for uh, great at dealing damage, or excuse me, great at dealing large amount of damage all at once. But for this one time only, you get a full deck and $10. You will never see this opportunity again. I'll never see the opportunity to get my deck and 10 bucks. So effectively, I'm giving you nothing. I give you 10 bucks, you give me 10, 10 bucks and a deck in your game. I... 
proofread people for God's sakes proofread but the funny thing is this is the only time that the game is ever mentioned because you go to $15 they give you a shirt no mention of the game uh, $19 dragon slippers no mention of the game $29 you get the soundtrack which I think they mention in here that are pain to have done but again you don't get the game uh, it goes from <laughs> And it goes from $29 and jumps straight to $89. $89. Dragon Eye life-size card, six feet. Um, you get a Dragon Eye life-size card that is autographed by the collect uh, by the collectors. By the collectors? Uh, the life-size card will be a random card. So you're telling me that, at least the way this is described, written, there's collectors out there, and not the creators, not the artists, not the programmers. The collectors are going to be the ones who are going to sign this for you. Plus, it's a random card, which makes me have to assume that they are going to be printing up a slew of these different kinds of cards and then sending them to you. What, the, again, makes no damn sense. And we're going to get really ridiculous because we go from $89 to $999 or more. A forged sword with dragon eye on the hilt. A real sword with the dragon's eye logo on the hilt. The sword will be carved with images from the game. These are very limited. They were doing a hundred of these. <sighs> Listen, I get that you're trying to pay his bail. Because that's all I can assume. I have to assume that this is done by Alessandra. I have to assume that the $30,000 uh, goal is somehow tied to the $25,000 bail he's got. Well, bond. But the $25,000 bond that he's got? Seriously? You guys aren't even trying anymore. And the funny thing is, is we're not buying. We weren't even buying we didn't buy it on the first run, we didn't buy it on the second attempt, we're not buying it on the third attempt here, we didn't buy it when you guys put it on Indiegogo. You don't have the rights, and at this point, it's sad. I mean, it was depressing as hell when we found out that you guys were, you know, that there's alleged abuse of the kids, and I use alleged because I have to. Um, but, you, you have, you have enough problems. Stop making Kickstarters. Stop trying to do Game of Thrones stuff you don't have the rights to. You obviously have no intention of producing, and you have no intention of being honest, so just stop. Either stop or make a public statement and be like, listen, we're terrible people, we're sorry, we desperately need the money to get our lives straight, help us out. You would probably do better doing that than this over and over and over because what you're doing is really just opening yourselves up to tons of litigation because if they haven't started yet they probably should at this point because it looks bad for them uh, especially it looks bad for them to leave this without a, a cease and desist you guys are purposely out there ruining this for those who enjoy it and you're trying to cash in and you're not even doing it well so stop just for the love of P, stop. Okay? All right. I don't think I've got anything else to say here. I think I've pretty much said it all and said it as efficiently as I possibly can. Uh, I can't believe we're doing another one of these, and I can't believe I had to do two in one day yesterday, but that's what happens. Um, I guess as this keeps going, we're going to have to keep talking about it. Huh. <sighs> I may even just turn this into a playlist at this point so people can keep up. I don't know. I have I, I have no idea what to do at this point. And I don't know what to I don't know what to do with you guys. Just stop. For the love of Pete, please just stop. Alright? Okay guys. This is gonna be Dave for Gamers on Games venting about the whole Game of Thrones debacle. Part four. <laughs> Alright. See you guys in the comments section, I guess. Bye.